Hello, welcome to the session on Selenium IDE testing tool, the first test case in continuation with the previous video. At the end of this session, students will be able to use Selenium IDE to execute test scripts. Selenium IDE is divided into different components, each having their own feature and functionalities. We have categorized seven different components of Selenium IDE, which includes menu bar, toolbar, address bar, test case pane, test scripts editor box, start or stop recording button, and the last log or reference pane. So this diagram that shows the welcome screen of IDE window that contains all the components as shown in the diagram. That is menu bar, toolbar, address bar, and at the right side, start and stop recording button, test case pane, left side, and uh, the right side bottom, that is test script editor box, and at the last bottom, log and reference pane. So this is the how it looks, the welcome screen of Selenium IDE. Next, we'll see the Selenium IDE first test case. How to run the test case on Selenium IDE tool. The entire test script creation process in Selenium IDE can be classified into three steps. The first one, recording. Recording the user interaction with the browser. Then playing back, executing the recorded script. Then third one, saving the test shoot. So these are the three steps to execute the test case using Selenium IDE. We'll discuss the steps in detail. Recording, for recording, launch the Firefox browser, then click on the Selenium icon that present on the top right corner on your browser. So the arrow mark that showing the the icon of the Selenium ID at the right corner. So it will launch the default interface of Selenium ID. So that is a welcome screen of uh, Selenium ID. Once we click on that icon, the window will display. Rename the project. So rename the project as demo test, rename the test case as java t point underscore test, click on the start recording button that is present on the top right corner of the ID to start recording the test cases. So the arrow mark that indicates the start button once the start button is clicked, go to your Firefox browser and open the URL. The URL were taken google.com. So it will redirect you to the Google search engine. So in the Google search engine, type as a Java tutorial in the Google search box. So in the, in the diagram, in the screenshot, you can see Google search engine box that contains the text Java tutorial. So it will redirect you to the Java T point Java tutorial web page. Meanwhile, you will get the notification of the actions that are performed by the ID at the extreme right corner of your web browser. Now go to the ID and click on the stop recording button to stop recording your actions further. The same button we use for to start the recording and stop the recording in the Selenium IDE. Playing back, click on the run test case button that present in the toolbar menu of the IDE. It will execute all of your interactions with the browser and gives you an overall summary of the executed test scripts. 
saving a test suite that is the last step save the entire test suite as a demo test the test suite can be found at the location provided in the above steps notice that the test script is saved in dot side format that is selenium ide format dot side let us pause the video for a while and use the selenium ide tool to execute the test scripts after performing the hands on resume the video let us see the how to execute the test case using the selenium ide so open the firefox browser then uh, click on the selenium ide tool that is the ide extension in the firefox browser so click on the selenium ide when we use the selenium ide for the first time the welcome screen contains the four options record a new test in a new project open the, an existing project create a new project choose the selenium close the close the selenium id so click on the record a new project so give the project name so just i am giving a demo test that is the project name then it will ask for the the base url so for the base url i will provide the google.com the base url is the url of the web application that you are doing the testing so just click on the start button now the selenium is uh, the recording is started so here just you click on java tutorial the selenium id is recording all the actions that are performed by the user click on the this java t point the selenium id is recording all the browser's action now now i'll stop the recording just click on the selenium id so just click on this stop recording so it uh, it asks for the test case name just you give the name as test case 1 this test case 1 so to save the project you just click on the save you can choose any location to save the project the project is saved so that this is the test case panel so these are the text editor panel so that it recorded all the actions that are performed by the user so now i want to run the test case so just click on the now just to close the browser now i close the firefox browser now i want to run the test case it is playing back the recorded user actions the test case completed successfully green color that indicates all the test cases are passed so this is how we execute a test case using the selenium id
uh, first step is to recording the user actions then playing back then third one is to save the test suit so this is how we execute the test case using the selenium id these are the references i refer thank you